turning this shit in right now. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> I'm turning these books. Um, and then his last in this fucking simple ass library. Shut the fuck up, simple ass library. He can't figure out what section to go to because he didn't look for any clues or anything. He's like the world's worst detective. I found the major clue, dude. I found the major's clue. Okay, here's your book. It's not good. This not book I want. All right, all right. I'll keep looking. Well, you could just do this all day or... Yeah, I know. I'm bouncing. I'm done. You could bounce. Or I can look at this thing again. Maybe it's color-coded. Yeah, I need to find fucking 1796. How do you know? Because it's the author of the fucking... The, the book I was having... How the fuck do I know? Why don't you look on the wall? I'm trying to look on the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. That's that's two or something. Eleven. Those are just the floor markings. Oh, my God, dude. Ridiculous. Now, there's probably a color-coded by year section. I just want to know who the board meeting was like. You know, it'd be fun. You know, just uh, put some lights up in a library. That sounds good, yeah. Oh yeah, that oh, sounds yeah, good. Oh, that to, sounds know, good, yeah. We're going to make a you know a really cool kind of video game. It's more like a movie, you know. You just yeah, when movies they cut this part out. They really do. So I'm just bouncing. I give a fuck, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm done. Succumb. Oh yeah, you know, I, I mean, could go back to the office. Oh uh, yeah, I could go back to the office, or could anymore. I go to this fucking glow ass library? Yeah, I'm fucking now. Okay, I fucking hope it's your turn because I'm fucking sick of looking at books and looking at files. It better be my turn. I fucking. Oh thank God, Jesus Christ! Fucking there you go. Just get away. It's scot free without anybody finding me. Back in this house. <laughs> This is the street her house is on. There's no point looking any further. Here it is. Bing! Bing, bong, bing! Dude, just keep ringing the doorbell. Does she answer the door? Alright, now that another ten minutes. Bell lock. <laughs> it's not it's not legal if you do bedlock, dude. Yeah. Bedlock. Some spooky ass Harry Potter house. Is there anyone here? Dude freaking out. Spooky. Who's Agatha? I forgot. I don't know. Fucking some chicks probably could make you some muffins or some shit. Are those, are those crows in the cages? Are those crows? Those nose knows that there's nose crows in there. Is anyone at home? Dude, this house is fucked up. Hello? Spooky ass. House. Where's my sandwich? Hello? <laughs> Candlesticks. <and old> green <laughs> you get to look for the candlesticks. <laughs> 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 well, you get to look for the fucking candles, dude. Dude, why are we even playing this game? Dude, I don't know, dude. Ah! Are, are you Agatha? Did I miss the part where we're going to talk to, talk to Agatha? To Agatha. Uh, help. I was told that she could help. Help you? Tell me. Who on this earth doesn't need a little help? 
I hate when it's like somebody who's not old playing an old person. Like, it's like a 14 year old girl playing. Well, I'm sure it's like, you know, it's like a character in this game that has like four roles, so, you know. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. <laughs> you get to look, I get to look for books. You get to push, push fucking bitches around. <laughs> yeah, push her. <laughs> yeah. Push her to the birds. Oh. Hey, dude, that's the bird that saw you fucking murder that dude. <laughs> Back on up. I'm gonna moonwalk this bitch. Well, you can. Is there stairs in this house? Oh, oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> it, sometimes it gets all fucking funky in Indigo Prophecy. Like yeah. right now is when it starts. Like How'd you know the birds are there? The I don't know, dude. Is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on seeing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? Um, possessed. I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Hmm, it's probably methamphetamines. It simply be because he's gone mad. No. I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me and of a little girl who called out to me for help. I had another it's vision a of a man a inside of me do, making me do Here's things. <laughs> Eat some to my little darlings, will you? You know, I was really gonna bake your noodle. Would you still have brought me in here with, with the birds and, and stuff? I didn't say anything. <laughs> like you don't know what's you know you don't know you don't know shit is that bird feed feed the birds dude <laughs> there you go this game's awesome feed those birds <laughs> is this even seed I don't know hopefully it's poison Dude, look at those lighting effects. It's fucking Indiana Jones status. Fucking look on the floor and you'll find the fucking temple of whatever. Do you have any memory of what could have triggered your loss of control? Did you drink something, hear a sound, or see an image which seemed out of the ordinary? Um, I have no idea. In fact, I can't remember anything that happened to me. Entered the place to when I woke up again afterwards. I was eating the shitty ass steak and eggs. Any other strange manifestation? And next thing you know, I was murdering this motherfucker in the bathroom. Yes, I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision, such as a symbol or a sign? Um, bug look? monsters? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Wow. Oh, dear God. So can I have that sandwich now? Is there a sandwich fucking what answer? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. Jesus. Driving Miss Ag Agatha. <laughs> it's probably across. The this bitch in the it's probably across across the hallway. I mean, that door. But you know, I don't know. It's your fucking. It's your game. It's your life. Whatever. Just fucking push her around. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. The 
clock has stopped. Fuck. What cupboards? That you live in here. Take a nap. Ow, shit. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> This game. You know when Pulesky always like remember this game, he's like he always remembered like searching the candles. He's like, oh yeah, it's that game where we search for candles. <clears throat> I'd rather search for candles than wherever the fuck I just did. Yeah, because you gave up. I'm not a punk ass bitch. You you don't have numbers or anything. You just have to look for cupboards. That's all you have to do. And you don't have to fucking left and right trigger to fucking breathe and shit. So I don't want to hear this. Why on earth was back, was like down and left to walk down that hallway? Oh, dude, I remember this part. Dude, yeah. Grab that shit. Grab those matches. You're gonna need that shit. Uh, old plates on the shelf. I think I want to break them. Where is she? An old wood stove. Huh, the coffee pot is still hot. But no sandwiches. Nothing in particular. That's a refrigerator. <laughs> Give me back my face. <laughs> you need to murder Agatha or something. What came home? <laughs> 